I have questions for you guys tonight. If you're easily offended, get the fuck out now. Because if you are, you're going to want to fight me. Question number one. Why do they put helmets on retarded kids? Fucking why? It's too late. They're already retarded. At this point, they are here for my amusement. And it is not nearly as funny when they fall down and blood doesn't come out. I show up to Special Olympics just to watch bitches fall. <laughs> helmets on retarded kids. It's fucking... I got a helmet on. Are you afraid that your kid is going to fall, hit their head, and wake up smart, bitch? How much worse can it get? He's 38. He's in a diaper. Fuck it. Goddamn handicap stall. I'm in there trying to work shit out. I got a dude knocking on the door in a wheelchair. <laughs> Are you in there? Bitch, yes, that's why you see feet. I'm in here. <laughs> Are you handicapped? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Dude said, God damn it, you're in my handicap stall. I'm paraplegic. I'm in a wheelchair. Why are you using my stall? My response was, let me tell you something, motherfucker. <laughs> of shit in life because you're in a wheelchair. There's a lot of shit in life you can't do. Number one, you ain't gonna get hot pussy. Alright, number two, you can't run. Number three, kind of like running, you can't walk. Number four, swimming is a motherfucker. But you know what you can do? You got a fucking chair. You can sit the fuck in it and wait for me to quit shitting. That's what the fuck you can do. I gotta stand outside the stall like, God damn, you got a chair. You poop in the bag, put it in the sink, fuck you. Oh, we're just getting started, eat a dick. I warned you a minute ago, God damn it. But I, I used to live over north, that's right, I was the one straight white guy that lived north. And I used to get on the five every day and I stopped riding that ghetto bullshit ass bus. Because every day I got on, brothers, let me drop a message for you real quick. Because apparently if the message has not gotten to the brothers in Minneapolis. Many years ago, a woman named Rosa Park refused to sit on the back of the bus and she changed racism in this country forever. She did. Give it up Rosa Park, goddamn. She's awesome. Apparently the brothers in Minneapolis did not get the message because you motherfuckers sit in the back of the bus like you rented that motherfucker. And all day long it's like, what up, G? What up, gangsta? You, you're 14. <laughs> Why are you talking to me like that? I'm just trying to go to work downtown. <laughs> Yo, what up, money? What up, player? You want to buy a CD? You want a CD? Man, what you got? You got that new Kanye, man? You got that little white? Hell no, nigga. It's me. It's me. You want to buy me? <laughs> Bitch, I'm riding from fucking Gerard to Nicolette Mall. I'm going to hear you the whole fucking Writing, com writing these commercials and we don't have a fucking clue what we're doing. And these are real commercials, I'm telling you. Ladies should be pissed the fuck off. Because some of my favorites were on today. I'm watching TV today and there's a mother and a daughter. And they're hand in hand. They're wearing matching cornflower blue sundresses. The sun is setting on the horizon behind them. They're walking down the beach together. The ocean is flowing over their bare toes. And the daughter looks up at the mother and says, Mother, mother, there are days. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Baby. There are days where I have that not so fresh feeling. <laughs> and the mother looks down at the daughter and says, Well, sweetie, you should 
try a Summer's Eve Massengill fucking citrus flavored fajita juice. Or whatever the fuck it is they're selling. That is not a real commercial. That shit was written by men. You don't have those conversations. You want the real fucking conversation, goddammit? Do you want it? Do you want how it really happens? Do you want to fucking hear it? It was real life. Alright, mother and daughter are barefoot. But it's not because they're on the beach, it's because they're on a dirt road in a trailer park in Ramsey. Thank you. And they're not hand in hand because they both just lit the tip on a Salem over menthol menthol like fucking 100. Thank you. And the daughter looks up at the mother and says, Karen? Before you start your shift at the local truck stop slash titty bar, I have something I'd like to say. Mom, there are days. There are days where I have that not so fresh feeling. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm gonna finish, I'll eat a dick. Shit I'm not allowed to perform on the road. Take this bar of soap. Turn it sideways. <laughs> Rub it up and down a little. Anyway, the commercial. Skinny, 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 fucking ridiculously bone thin white bitch, not bloated whatsoever in a white miniskirt playing tennis. This, and the commercial just starts and she's just like On my heavy flow day, shut the fuck up! Shut up on your heavy flow day! I was married! My wife wouldn't put white sheets on the fucking back flow day. <laughs> You're gonna wear a mini skirt and play tennis? Lying whore! You want the real commercial, man? Alright, cool. Here's the real commercial, goddammit. John comes home after a long day of mechanic, <laughs> roofer, grill cook, all that. He walks in the fucking door of his trailer in Ramsey. Damn. And his girl, his lovely, beautiful girl, Amanda, looks up at him and says, Where the fuck have you been all fucking day? <laughs> He's like, that shit is real. <laughs> you ain't getting no ass tonight from Amanda. <laughs> Where the fuck have you been? You've been out being a mechanic all fucking day? Huh? You know, if you wouldn't have dropped out of high school, if you'd have went to hit up and tap, Brownie's kicking in. <laughs> OB with no applicator. For the days you just want to quietly slip it under the door and walk away. And everybody says, well, what about the ones with wings? What about the ones with wings? Really? Will they help John fly away from crazy fucking Amanda? <laughs> Slide the shit under the door and get the fuck out of there. 